Hi, 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 and welcome to LNA Does Odious Stuff. <laughs> Don't know what that was. Today we're going to be talking about layering and stacking, and quite often we use those words together, but actually they have a really different meaning. Stacking is where we use similar sounds that have a similar timbre together, transpose some of them, detune some of them, but we also use the same envelope on all of them. Whereas layering is using di different timbres, timbres, timbres together without no example detuning and making that they work in unison. Also, they might have different envelopes. So all of the layers will have independent characters of timbres. Also, before we go to this video, please subscribe and please hit the bell icon because you want to be here again. But hey, let's get into this video. <laughs> one is simple stacking. So in front of me, I have a synth track, three of them, that has all the same melody. So this is three times. All of them have the same wave table, just the basic settings, same envelope, same wave, wave shape, everything. And why do we want to now use stacking? So in stacking, we want to make a one synth sound much bigger and much more bigger, bigger, bigger. Right now. Eh, not that interesting. We're going to leave this first synth just like that. On the second synth, we're going to do a little bit detuning. So I'm going to go here and detune section and detune this example for I could actually do it even more. I'm going to go minus seven. Okay. The third one. And in there, I could actually go to semi-stones semi and go example plus 12. So I'm going to go octave higher and detune it slightly. So already, how much more interesting is this? The actual timbre of the instrument doesn't sound that different. It actually still sounds like a one instrument, but it just sounds a lot more interesting, a lot more vibrant and a lot more bigger. Beautiful. You can also make these stack sounds sound bigger and wider if you spread them on a stereo spectrum using the pan controls. Another way is using utility and the width control on it, an example 200%. Or you can go all the way to 400%, which is very, very wide. Tip number two, simple layering, simple way of layering. So here we go. So we have now three different type of instruments. So we have example one with the square wave and a little bit of filter and quite long release and slower attack on the envelope. Synth number two, uh, sawtooth. And then we have also a little bit of filter and a slightly different envelope again. Synth number three, we have triangle, we have a high pass filter and different type of envelope. So synth number one sounds like this. Synth number two sounds like this. And synth number three sounds like this. Okay, so together they all sound like this. Mm -hmm. 
And then, of course, we can volume them a little bit. So I might go the bit like this. So it has a lot more energy in it. And so it doesn't sound as weak as if we would just have one. So that's a layering. Tip number through, through, through two, two and three together is through, but I mean three, is combination of both of these together. So we have here different type of synthesizers. So we have here a, tr a triangle, then we have a sawtooth, and then we have a square wave. All of them have a little bit of different filters and also envelopes. But also what I want to do is detune them slightly. So example, first one I could detune a little bit there, then maybe... I want that octave lower, the second one, and maybe highest one, I want two octave lower, so minus 24, and then detune that even slightly up. So let's see how they all sound differently. So the first one, quite soft one. The second one is the sawtooth. a lot more color in that one and then the third one which is a square wave it's more like a bass synth isn't it so let's see how they sound all together That is really cool, actually. How about if I, the lowest one, I just adjust the envelope a little bit more. So it's like more impact. Very cool, okay. And tip number five is using these together with drums. So this would be more layering than stacking because we have example different type of drums. So let's say we have this drum pattern that is quite nice, but it's not too exciting. So something like this. So it's not that exciting kick sound, is it? It's quite meh, meh. So we want to make it a bit more interesting and how we can make that is using layering. So example, we could find another instrument that is a boom sound. So this is quite high in the frequency. So if I take a spectrum analyzer, I can show you audio spectrum. And so the first kick. So it has quite a lot of uh, harmonics on the top end, but also it has here between 60 to 100, quite a high peak. Okay, so what if we want something a little bit lower to add that sub bass into it? So I have another sample here. Very, very boomy. So let's have a look where that is in the frequency range. Ooh. So it doesn't have almost anything here in the higher end or mid, but it has basically around 30 hertz to uh, 89, 90, somewhere there. It's really very loud. So let's have a look how those two sound together when we layer them. So again, there's a lot more impact. They sound quite separate unit. That's absolutely fine. What you can do also is using compressor on the group track. Example, a glue compressor is a really good thing. Make them sound a bit more together, like they're one sound. Or we can add something that kind of also adds into the sound. So I have a third kick here, which is also very interesting. So when we are layering, we can also add a melodic sound. So it has a note or it has more color or some kind of characteristic. So we have punchiness, boominess, and then some character. So example, this kick you might not want to have in every single uh, section of the song. But example, we come to chorus or something, you want to add some more extra character, then maybe this kick. So it's a bit more like a synthy, has a little bit of a note on it. So let's see them all together. 
So already much more interesting. all my five tips on uh, stacking and layering please subscribe please hit the bell icon because i have a lot of more videos like this coming up and come again because it's it's a good channel <laughs> thank you all my patreon members who are all here fabulous amazing people and if you want to be part of this very cool gang then please go to the link down below because in patreon i give feedback I do master classes, monthly master classes on different topics. And also you can just DM me, ask me things. And I also do weekly live streams, Q&A live streams where you can ask me anything. So hopefully see you there, link down below and see you soon.